At Pasco County's newest school, Language Arts is right next to the cybersecurity lab. My personal opinion as an educator and as the leader of a STEM school is that we need to embrace and explore this technology. Our big labs for like robotics and um, engineering are on the ground floor. Angeline Academy of Innovation opens this year for grades 6 through 10, focusing on education in tech and science. We'll have programs in bio design with a biomedical focus. We'll have engineering with applied robotics and cybersecurity with computer science. Angeline is among the first Florida schools to offer a sequence of courses on artificial intelligence as part of the state's Division of Career and Technical Education curriculum. Over this last year, especially when tools like ChatGPT have gotten a lot of attention in media, we made an intentional decision to be curious and to figure out how we could leverage those tools rather than talking about whether we should ban them or be afraid of, of their use. The use and implementation of artificial intelligence is a discussion taking place not only in schools, but in workplaces across the globe. It is creating a handful of jobs when it comes to data analysis, machine learning, programming, essentially learning how AI works and how to best work with it. A recent report by Goldman Sachs estimates AI will replace 300 million jobs. Meanwhile, the IBM Global AI Adoption Index predicts the AI industry to grow by 37 percent by 2030. My vision is that artificial intelligence is actually something that is embedded in all of our uh, program pathways because I do see it impacting every career field over time. The Thomas cousins are already enrolled in Angeline's first AI and coding courses. We can actually learn stuff like that we want to do like it for like our career. And from the few minutes I talked with them, I'd bet they'll be curing diseases in the future. One of the things I want to be when I grow up is like um, I want to work in the in biomedical design and be a pediatrician, and I feel like AI could help me like do that. Financial experts say the best job security in the future is for everyone to start learning how to work with AI. There is going to be more and more demand for professionals who can interpret and analyze the data that these systems generate. Even just in our summer professional learning for teachers, we're going to be teaching our teachers how to use these tools in their instruction and in their planning so that they are ready to work with them and, and help students use them responsibly. Reporting in Pasco County, Stassi Olmos, ABC Action News.